the Soyuz spacecraft has been the backbone of the Russian space program for over 50 years. Both the Soviet Union and Russia have used it to launch cosmonauts into space for decades. Although today it is mostly known for trips to the International Space Station, the Soyuz has a long operational history dating back to its first uncrewed mission on November 28, 1966. Over the years, Soyuz spacecraft have been used to send cosmonauts to various types of space stations, including the Almaz, Salyut, and Mir series, as well as the International Space Station. In this video we will discuss why the SpaceX Dragon is better than Russian Soyuz spacecraft. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to stay informed about the latest space news and updates. For many years, the Soyuz was the only means of delivering crews to the ISS, leading NASA to purchase seats for its astronauts. NASA bought 71 seats at a cost of almost $4 billion over six years. However, as of 2020, Elon Musk's SpaceX Dragon rockets can also deliver American crews to the ISS. This is also at the time that the United States Dragon has gradually surpassed Soyuz in most every respect. As the United States and Russia are facing off over the invasion of Ukraine, the two nations are quietly cooperating on another critical matter, ensuring that astronauts are not stranded in space. On December 15, an International Space Station mission control halted a planned spacewalk aboard the orbiting laboratory due to a new and alarming problem. A Russian Soyuz space capsule docked to the facility was suddenly spewing large amounts of fluid into space. The dramatic leak, which was caused by a 0.8mm hole, emptied the capsule's radiator of cooling fluid leaving NASA and Russia's Roscosmos with a new problem. How to safely transport two cosmonauts and one astronaut who had been scheduled to return home in the now-damaged capsule in March. The capsule also serves as the station's emergency escape pod for those three, leaving them stranded if a serious problem develops in the station's living quarters. Just like a car with a broken radiator, the Soyuz capsule would overheat with the radiator emptied of cooling fluid. The capsule now relies on air from the station for cooling, but closing its hatch saw temperatures inside rise to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, even before sending it home to Earth on a re-entry burn through the atmosphere, when temperatures inside would normally rise even with a functioning cooling system. This situation, one of the more dangerous the ISS has faced in years, comes decades into the two nations' long partnership running the station, which costs the United States $13 billion a year to operate. The space station, born out of the end of the Cold War, has long been considered a geopolitical symbol of cooperation between the world's most powerful nuclear nations, rather than for its scientific achievements. If an analysis expected this month concludes that a return trip on the damaged Soyuz would endanger the lives of astronaut Frank Rubio and cosmonauts Dmitry Paitlan and Sergei Prokopiev, Russia will have to send up an empty Soyuz to bring them home in February. NASA has also contacted SpaceX about the possibility of returning the astronauts home in a Dragon space capsule. One of the Dragon's five advantages over the Soyuz is its roominess. The Dragon has the capability of carrying up to seven people, more than twice the capacity of the Soyuz, which typically only carries up to four. This leaves a sizable volume for the transport of supplies and equipment. The Soyuz spacecraft is very small and has Spartan crew compartments, which limits movement, especially on a trip longer than two days. A three-person crew would be quite uncomfortable during that time, which is why Soyuz ISS flights often use a hybrid launch configuration that gets the crew to the station in a few hours rather than days. Additionally, there is little to no room for supplies or experiments, especially on return. The Soyuz can carry some supplies in its orbital module but the module is abandoned before re-entry, and there is very little room for the return of anything within the descent module where the crew resides during landing. The Soyuz can take 340 kilograms of cargo with a crew of three, whereas the Dragon can carry about 6,000 kilograms of cargo with a crew of four, thanks to its pressurized volume and unpressurized trunk. Another advantage is its operational time and reusable hardware. The Soyuz can work for 180 days while docked to the ISS, whereas the Dragon can work for 210 days and can fly freely for 10. The Soyuz capsule is not reusable and often does not return to Earth in one piece. However, the Falcon 9 first stage, used for the first two minutes of flight, is fully reusable for multiple flights. The Crew Dragon vehicle can also be refurbished for reuse, although NASA's commercial crew vehicles are not expected to be reused within the contract period. 
Reusability means cost savings for NASA and SpaceX. Compared to the fully expendable Soyuz, SpaceX charges half the price for a seat on the Dragon 2, at $55 million compared to $89 million on Soyuz. Additionally, the Crew Dragon's trunk, a simple unpressurized cylinder, provides solar power generation and thermal control. Its near-empty interior allows for the transportation of large elements to the ISS such as international docking adapters, station arm elements, equipment packages, and other external components. This is a highly useful feature as no other spacecraft, except for the retired space shuttles or the Cygnus resupply vehicles, have the ability to provide replacement ISS elements of these kinds. Finally, state-of-the-art technology. It may not be fair to compare it directly with a spacecraft designed and built a half-century ago, but there is a difference. The Soyuz only recently received updates from old analog control systems to digital, while the Russians have mastered the art of automated launch, docking, and landing systems using antiquated technology. The Crew Dragon has similar capabilities, but with greater robustness. The Dragon's designers have replaced everything, including the control stick, with three large touch screens facing four side-by-side -side seats. Each screen is capable of displaying up to 10 sets of displays, allowing the crew to focus on a particular set of systems, such as guidance, environmental, electrical, and more. Ideally, the spacecraft is so advanced that the astronauts have virtually nothing to do, as the ship operates entirely autonomously. That ends today's video. Please share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching.